who are you? Uh, which is a question that we don't always explore on a daily basis. We often ask people, what do you do? And what do you do sometimes can look like more so things that we do in terms of classifying our egos, satisfying our egos, or increasing our chances of having sex. And so when we think about who we are, that's kind of left brain versus right brain. Left brain being ego, which is what the marketing agencies target, right? But right brain is more so going into that deeper emotional connection and really figuring out and classifying yourself to yourself and not to the world. And those are very two big things to address. So, you know, people ask me all the time, like, Keith, what do you actually do? And I don't think about the things I do, I just think about who I am. And so, in those terms, I always tell people I'm a world changer. And I say that we live on the same planet, but we all live in different worlds. Your world is made up by your perception. Your world may be ignorant, my world may be enlightened. You know, your world may be negative, my world may be positive. Right, your world may be unhealthy, mine may be vegan like mine's are over here. So, for me, it's about getting people to a collective world mindset so everybody is tapped into that higher frequency so we can live in the same world where we can cure heaven. So, you know, as a world changer, I'm, I'm polymathic. And that means that, you know, I span in different skill sets. And more so as an artist, I just like to create. I like to design different languages, different ways to think, different ways to, to, to be as black men. If I came in here and told y'all I was a nigga, it wouldn't even fit the design of what I curate. So I have to come and let you know who I am based on the design that I want to see more in the world as far as us becoming leaders. And when you talk about leadership competency, it talks about you have to become an example of the goals that you want other people to be, right? You can't just tell people to eat healthy. You have to be the healthiest version and be like, see, this is what I'm doing. And therefore your actions get to speak for themselves. So, you know, in that thought process, you know, in being here and thinking about the black experiences, the black experience itself, and what does it mean to be black? And I believe tonight we can explore a little bit of that because that connects us to the diaspora around the world. For one, defining that word for ourselves and what that actually means because everybody has a different definition or a different connotation of it. You understand me? And I like to define my own words. So for me, black means original. Right? Black means that we're tapped into that original frequency of our nature. And our nature is just like that of an infant, which is to be good, which is to be righteous. So as I see a man that is good, I see a black-minded individual. And that's where we tap in, but that also says that we 